All right, so what we want to do now is the Lewis dot structure of an ammonium ion. Now, because it's an ion, it actually has a plus charge overall on this thing. So that means one of these electrons is not going to be par uh, paired up. The nitrogen is uh, has five valence electrons, and the hydrogen has one valence electron. So I have my nitrogen with five, so it's one, two, three, four, and five, and then my hydrogen just has one. Let me just double check that I have all of my dots. And so um, how many valence electrons am I dealing with here? I've got five over here, and I've got one over here, but there's four hydrogens in that. So I've got nine altogether, which could be a problem. And here's the reason why it could be a problem, because it's going to have uh, an odd number of valence electrons, which um, if this weren't an ion, that would kind of poses an interesting conundrum to me. But the fact of the matter is, is that this thing is an ion, so I'm going to have one thing that I don't have paired up. Now, my nitrogen is going to have the 1, 2, 3, 4. And its hydrogen is going to bond with all those hydrogens. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give up one of those electrons because remember there's supposed to be five on this nitrogen but he only has four do you see one two three four so what it's going to do is it's going to be like well i don't really need that extra electron so that he's going to kick that electron out now that electron has a negative charge tied to it which means now that this atom is missing an, a negative charge on his on the element it's going to acquire a positive ionic charge. And so that's kind of how you do the NH4 ion. I think the way it's best written would probably be with N, H, 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 and then you put a bracket around here and put a plus on it, just to signify there's a positive ion.